Hello everybody, it's the Gaming Dad here and we are continuing Shanty in a Pirate's Curse 100% walkthrough and achievement guide. In this video we're going to be going to the Lonely Grave and finally seeing the final boss. If you can please like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification to keep yourself updated. Cheers! It's very dark and mysterious. Ho ho ho! Ha ha ha! What's so funny? You're creeping me out. Those guardian genies sure did a number on him. The middle of no place, perfectly hidden from prying eyes. There's even some sort of magnetic anomaly here that boggles the compass. It was almost perfect. Almost. Well, he probably knows we're here. I'm going to have a few words with the good captain. After that, we rig this place with explosives and blow a sky high. Can he really hear us? There's nothing to fear. Not anymore. <sighs> However, <laughs> should anything go wrong, I want you to gather up all of the remaining dark magic and destroy it. Got it? Huh? But risky then, you say. That's an order. <sighs> I got it. Okay then. I'll prepare some powder kegs for the pirate master's final farewell. Don't wander off. So we're going to wander off. This is the biggest map. There it is. Silent as a tomb. Without dark magic to draw from, he's vanished from the eternal abyss. Too bad, really. After all, what good is a victory if you can't rub your enemy's face in it? Woo! What was that? Ho, ho, ho. Why is this in like Santa Claus? So you've managed to return after all. Ha 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 ha. Ah, oh, he isn't human. Risky boots, how dare you betray me? You're nothing but a shade. I'm through taking orders from you. You watched and did nothing as I fell in battle. You stole my ship and crew. And now you destroy my agents and disrupt my flow of dark magic. Actually, I did that. You will suffer for this. There's no reason to get all worked up, Captain. See this girl? She's the offspring of the one who imprisoned you. The genies are the real enemy. Take her and we can call it even. Risky! Ho ho ho. I see I still sound like Santa. That can wait. You're the one I want. I will make you pay for your disloyalty. I've had it with your blasted orders. Your time has passed. Go back to the grave where you belong. Fool, you belong to me. Risky. What's this? You dare to wear my face like some kind of trophy? Give me that. First I will take the palace, and then when my strength has returned, you will witness the end of your world. Ho ho ho. Yep, same again. Ha 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 Oh no, I've got to warn everyone. But what's it that Risky said before? I should make sure to find all the dark magic first, but... What good would that do? So, what she's meaning is the magic, which is 20. And we've got 20, so we're all good. That's just so you can get the true boss. Well, steam powered oceanic Tinker Top Mark II looks like it's just you and me now. Let's see if it really got what it takes to be a pirate. Avash, you wet dogs, it's time to swab the plank. Heave ho! Moist the main snail. Heal the port blubber. Aye, Captain. She's weird. And as we know, Skittle Town is in darkness. And it's very, very quiet. So we're going to save with our lovely wee old man. And then we're going to run all the way along to the palace. And then we can just speed all the way there. Oh, and the baddies have changed as well. It's quite hard to actually see some of them. And that was close. <laughs> okay, we got a wee bit of run up from here. That was pointless. Let's just keep going straight ahead. 
so we can get through this forest quicker. Pirate Master's Palace. Finally, use our cannons and scale this place. So it's up to the right. So we're going to make use of our items here because we need to make sure we hit all these switches. Probably the first hard room. <laughs> Mental how it changes from easy platforming to very difficult platforming now. I don't know if there's any point collecting coins. So we're going to stick to the right and make sure we traverse these spiky pillars. As soon as we see a little bit come out, we've got to time it perfectly so we can avoid the next set. Then we're going to go up to avoid that because it looks like we can't do it. Well, that was hard, but. Continuing on. Right, we're going to use our risky boots here, and we can run on top of them, we just can't run into them. And we'll make it to the next bit, and we're continuing on this lovely, simple tower. Not Continuing on like so. So now we're using our hat. Now this is quite like flappy bird, but not as hard. Yeah, it's definitely a flappy word. And there we go. This room has given me a few good attempts. Anyway, we need to destroy the blocks with our pirate weapons, so our cannon, our scimitar, and our gun. And we're going through that passage we should have bottom to. Three above that, and then the four above that. One of them is actually off camera. Once we get over here, we're going to shoot all these. So we can get access with the hat over the spikes. And we want to get the middle ones to make it a bit easier, though I would recommend if you can get the top ones, just so it makes it a wee bit easier, like so, then we want to jump up, shoot twice, and glide over, we're done, thankfully, that was the hardest room as of yet anyway. But obviously it is the last dungeon, so they're not going to make it easy, are they? So we have to use our cannon to glide across. 
you want to time your jump so you can get to this little crumbling island. There's a little heart there. And we're in this room. Let's shoot that so we activate that mysterious platform. And we're going to climb up the top. Some of them are blending in, I like that. No. And we're getting to the save. You've arrived! The daughter of the genies! Maybe you've noticed I gave your palace a little makeover. Now that I'm back in my physical form, I'm growing stronger by the second. He's a monster, keep your distance! Silence you. Why did you come, girl? Certainly not to save this traitor. Maybe you wish to fight and fill your mother's shoes. Let rescue boots free, go free or else. Har har har. Or else what? You're going to unleash your half-breed magic on me. Which one was your mother? Is that fire spouting hothead? Or maybe the songbird? I don't know. I never knew her because... Because of you! You want to take a swing at the captain, eh? Why not? I could use a warm-up. Show us some of your magic tricks, genie. The tactics for this boss is make sure we activate Super Monster Milk, Super Pipe Bulb and the Bubble Shield. He's going to teleport from the left side to the right side, it varies, and also in the middle. You need to get close to him so the pipe balls actually do damage. And with the bubble shield will actually be able to avoid his purple orb-like projectile, so that makes it a lot easier. Just make sure you don't get too close because when you do touch him you will get damaged. Is that all you got? For a genie kid you sure don't pack much of a punch do you? And there we go, we're going to get our two achievements, nothing but a shade for obviously killing them without taking damage and the other one for killing them just normally. In fact, you'd be nothing without my weapons. Hmm, I think I'll just take them off your hands. Har har har. So we're giving away all the items here, as you can see, so we won't be able to use them for the boss fight. Hey, give those back. Har, what did you say we get this show on the road? I'll show you my true power, the Pirate Master, full powered Pirate King. So the boss has three phases, we're going through the first phase. And it's similar to the second phase, but the second phase is a bit more sped up. And we'll go to the third phase shortly after we're talking about this. Anyway, his attacks are cannonballs, so they go from left to right and right to left. They bounce, you just need to be in one corner and in the other corner. You need to time it so you don't get hit by them. Next up move is the scimitars, and they're all lining up and there's a gap in them. You want to make sure you're where the gap is. And then the third move is the guns, but because we've got the bubble shield, all the guns, especially in the first phase, will be immune. The bullets will be immune to us, sorry. And lastly, the fourth phase is using the stone pillars again, and the pirate master's first form is on them, you just need to kill them. I mean, one hit will kill them, so using the super pipe balls will get them before you can get close to them. And then when you get up and climb up to the top, you're just going to spam your hair attack, the super pipe balls and do as much damage as clinically possible. Once we've done the first phase we're going to go into a little bit of a cutscene or dialogue like so. Har har har. Genie girl. Yeek. I hear you got a whole lot of dark magic in that lamp of yours. Hand over or I'll crush this has been beneath my heel. <gasps> What's it going to be? The dark magic or her life? Risky. Risky. If I hand over the dark magic, you promise not to hurt her. I swear it on my own grave. He's a filthy liar, don't give it to him. Will you give him the dark magic? Here, take it. Just let Risky go. I knew you'd see things my way.
What is this nonsense? Bah! Light magic. I have no use for this filth. Risky was right. The dark magic was really my magic all along. Ha ha ha! You can't trust that coward. She just fled to save her own skin. Risky's no coward. She meant for me to use it somehow. So, we need to hold the Y button to suck in the light magic to get our genie powers or half genie powers back. My magic! Impossible! It's back where it belongs. I knew Risky was telling the truth. Gar, curse that Risky Boots. I will wipe you and every last genie from existence. And in the second phase, when they're a bit faster, there's also an extra one or two cannonballs, but it's pretty straightforward to dodge them. In the second phase, they'll actually move. So you've got to time it right, so you want to get close to it and you need to keep an eye out for where the gap is, you'll have to move back and forth. In the second phase, the guns, once they've shot their bullets, will come towards you like a homing thing. However, if you sit in the right corner where Risky is and duck, they'll actually go over you and you can avoid them completely. So yet again, the guns are useless. Once the second phase is destroyed, his head will move away. Move it, you lubbers. Get that cannon into position. Aye, aye. Ready to fire, Captain. Hold for my order. Steady now. So all we need to do here is activate the usual items, just in case. And we're going to spam our attack and press the B button as the new button has appeared in the bottom right corner. Now it's going to fire a cannonball. We just need to make sure we spam him. Or spam him for attacks and that'll make him stun lock and hit the cannon in his face. That's pretty much all we really need to do. Once you get to the third phase, you're good to go. You will get the achievement after this. As I mentioned earlier, first phase is a bit hard, second phase is even harder. And third phase is a piece of piss. Once he's destroyed. I'm going to get an achievements pop in. Guardian Genie and uh, Half Genie Hero. You're finished, Pirate Master. You cannot destroy me. Yarr! That's the last of him. There's just one thing left to do. Like what? The pirate weapons. It's time I took them back. All oh, right. But Risky, what about the curse? There's nothing to fear. The curse has been broken. I'm in charge of my own destiny. I won't let the darkness rule over me any longer. So you're going to become a good guy? Ho ho ho. I didn't say that. Listen carefully, Runt. You walk to walk and you talk to talk. Hey, you even dress the part. Haha. -ha. But in the end, you're no seafaring cutthroat, far from it. You can't pretend to be something you're not, and neither can I. So long. Risky, I, I. Don't go. It's going to be alright. She'll have to discover her own path. Oh, Uncle. Wrench said you were in danger. We came as quickly as we could. Is everything okay? Is Risky Boot still here? Please? Ah, <sighs> she's gone. So crossing. I still haven't washed my head since the last time she punched me. You've had a big day. Let's get you home. Thanks, everyone. But there's something I really need to do first. Thank goodness that awful storm has finally passed. The sky is beautiful and blue again. Hey, girlfriend. You and that pirate lady saved the day. Haha, <laughs> I guess we did. But I've still got some unfinished business with you, Ammo Baron. Let me guess, you want your job back. Ammo Town could really use a guardian genie like you. I can certainly vouch for her character. If it would make her happy. <sighs> no thanks, I've got something else in mind. 
I'm only half genie, and I've never granted someone's wish before. But I think I'm ready to give it a try. This one's for you, Mayor. Ooh. Epic. Montage. Everything disappears. No! Weeks of hard labour, materials, my precious resources all gone. The people of Scuttletown are through with you, Ammo Baron. Now take a hike, you scum sucking skellybag, or I'll clean your gills from ear to ear. It's a very Scottish. She bewitched and speaking blabber tongue. Let's clear out of here, men. Move it. He's so fast. There wasn't a techno in that tank. I can't believe it. My beautiful town has been restored to needs work condition. You'll always have a place here as our guardian. Promise me you'll never ever leave. Oh, Mayor. Abner, Poe, Rotty Tops. Gotta hand it to you. You saw something in that pirate girl the rest of us missed. Just like you did with Lil's sister here. Haha. -ha. I just awoke from the most wondrous dream. I was a hero just like you. I saved everyone who was lost and helped them find their way home. I'll tell you about it tonight. What's tonight? Sleep over at your house. Now that we move back to the mainland, I'm going to track down our caravan. Maybe we should open our own coffee wagon. But meantime, Rofi, Rofi Talk can stick around here if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. Call her name. I suppose I'll have to keep a close eye on these two. No one invited you. Time to hit the bricks. Where will you go? Poe and me, we're going to search for answers. Maybe remember who we really are. Get our lives back. Rotty Tops appear to have a head start thanks to you. You gave us purpose again, gal. Thanks for it. Come on, Poe. See you, coffee lady. I'll see you all later. You two snack cakes. What, me? Hey, Rotty's brothers seem a lot less scarier than usual. I should take off too. I've got lots of work to do and I can't wait to get that. The storm did a real number on this place. Good luck fixing the mayor's patio chair. Bolo, the mayor's retreat is the other way. That boy. So this pirate master fellow was Risky's old boss, huh? Yep. My magic was the key to awakening that curse and bringing him back. It appears that it was all his undoing. Yeah, well... Risky had figured out from the start. Always one step ahead. I think she was just lucky. No one's that manipulative. Anyway, you got your magic back, right? Sure did, half genie once again. And I'm bursting with the brand new idea for my next dance moves. I'm glad to see your spirits up. I'm going to fetch Bolo, we'll talk again later. Things are finally starting to get the way they are. Uncle, I'm going to ask you, why did you have a tinker bat in the top? Push up. Oh, that well. I've been conducting some experiments of the properties of magic. I thought that perhaps a polarity might... I figured these might be a way to restore your powers. But it looks like you proved the theory on your own. Thanks you for everything, Uncle. And I'm sorry for running off with Risky and not telling you. You're a handful, young woman. But you gave Risky Books a chance that most folk would never. You may never be a full genie like your mother, but you're becoming more like her in far more important ways. She'll see it herself one day when you finally meet her. You think so, Uncle? I know so. Someday. Not Sunday, someday. Risky! I thought I'd find you here. Looks like your tinker backs are back to normal. Think you've got work to do. The tinker tub will need serious upgrades before I can launch my next attack. Haha, <laughs> you're kidding, right? Why are you here? Still trying to convince me to become a goody goody like you? I was just hoping to ask you something. How did you know the dark magic would change? Oh, that. I did know, it was just a hunch. I figured if I gave you a lamp, you'd put it to good use. And when I heard about dreams, I figured the magic must be yours. But you knew I wouldn't destroy it. Somehow you knew it would change. How could it? Now, with you still in the seven seas for good deed for every hard luck case. I make it a point to know my enemies. I knew the pirate master would make a grab for the dark magic, and I knew you'd do the opposite of common sense and hand over. Well, yeah, to save you. Exactly. Alright, men, snap to it. We're shipping out, the doomsday device won't build itself. Watch your back, Runt. You too. And then she takes a really, really slow walk towards the end of the screen. Oh, one more thing. Huh? Your mother, you're just like her. Only shorter and more annoying. Risky. 
Smooth sailing. And then we've got the credits. Once the end pops up showing us all our stats, we're going to be getting the achievement for not sacrificing or melting any heart squids called Squid Saviour. We'll also get some additional wallpapers and extra modes and so on and so on. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, please like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're not already and hit the bell notification as well. See ya!